Hello everybody, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. This is Bulletin again. Uh, just in case it's your first time here in this channel, please, as you're listening right now, don't forget, just press the subscribe button and also don't forget the notification bell. Just in case I load a new video, you'll be the first to know. Also share and uh, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much and God bless you for doing that. And today I want to share with you uh, somebody I just came across on the on the media uh, giving the Igbo people uh, a kind of like an ultimatum to leave the Yoruba region. I wonder the kind of impunity this guy have to come up on the media and do such a thing. First of all, I want to say that Nigeria, Fed, Federal Republic of Nigeria, have a legislation or a law that forbids a hate speech. Now, when we talk about hate speech, the federal government has been using that part of the law to kind of like harass people that are speaking the truth against the government. They arrested Apostle Suleiman somewhere last year, you know. They arrested the governor of Ekiti State and so many other persons. So people were begin to be afraid to come up to speak the right thing. Even Showare was arrested for hate speech. And so uh, people were being harassed with the DSS to sort of like uh, to suppress people that want to speak against the government. Now, somebody is coming up publicly with all kind of impunity with all kind of boldness to say that a certain group of people tribes should leave their region who told who told him that that region belonged to him is the region of the federal republic of nigeria nobody can say that the region is mine but the fact that you speak that language living under a certain jurisdiction doesn't make the region yours the, the land, the terrain of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is the property of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and it is not possessive by any kind of uh, tribe. So they have no right as long as Nigeria remain one Nigeria to order any tribe to leave any region. No one can do that. This kind of people are supposed to be arrested immediately because they are bad eggs in the society. They have the ability to corrupt the mind of so many others. And before you know what's happening, tribal war has started. Now, come to think of it, in the midst of riots, in the midst of uh, so many troubles in the country, somebody is just coming up with another dimension of wahala, another dimension of trouble. Can you see how people have just sworn that the country cannot cannot have rest? The country cannot be peaceful. People that are killing, they are there. Assassins are terrorizing. Government is terrorizing. Police are brutalizing. There are people that have just decided that the nation cannot be good. What is all this? What is all this? Now we run for police. We run for commissioners. We run for uh, presidents. We run for even your neighbor. Now we have to run for people that are fighting tribe. Huh. I don't know where we are going to. Ah, God help us. God really help us. Please don't forget, after watching this video, just leave your comment below or above. Leave your comment. Nigeria must be a great nation. Every stubborn Egyptian in Nigeria that has said Nigeria cannot be good, Holy Ghost fire is going to consume them all in Jesus' name. And so please, I remain with this as I'm leaving you. One Nigeria unity we must stand god bless you watch this video warning to the evil people living in your land we're giving you a 48 hour ultimatum from today friday 23rd of october 2020 until sunday 25th of october 2020 to leave your land from Monday, the 26th of October, 2020, we will close the roads, stop all the vehicles across Yoruba land, and every Igbo national 
will be dealt with accordingly. What happened at Ore in Ondo State in August 1967 are just highlights of what we're going to do from Monday 26 October 2020. We are kind enough to give you a 48 hours time to pack your things and move to your home region peacefully. We will stop all cars, taxis, passenger vehicles and we are going to enter into workplaces, business premises, security sites, searching everyone. Any evil who is found will be dealt with mercilessly. It has been long that we have tolerated your criminality across your land. We requested the government across our region to regulate your influx into your rebellion, but it seems our request is being ignored. Now we will deal with it in our own way. So please be warned and do as we have requested and save yourself and your family. Do not say we did not want you. We're asking you to pack your things and go back to Igbo land. We don't want any Igbo national anymore in Yoruba land. We're tired of you. Enough is enough. You have now been warned. Thank you.